Hey guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm going to teach for you a cocktail called the Blood and Sand. The Blood and Sand was first created in 1922 in London, um, and it was created for the premiere of a Rudolph Valentino movie uh, called Blood and Sand. Uh, it first appeared in print in Harry Craddock's 1930 um, The Savoy Cocktail Book, and it is also a very polarizing cocktail in the bartending community because a lot of people don't a lot of bartenders don't like it because it has orange juice in it. And then there are a few bartenders that do like it, and I am in the latter category. That being, especially because I think that it's, you know, a kind of a double standard to say, well, I'll accept pineapple juice in cocktails, but I won't accept orange juice in cocktails. And really, orange juice is the um, polarizing ingredient that everyone says, eh, it's too sweet, it's a crutch of, a, of an ingredient. I don't agree. That being said, when you make this cocktail, you want to use fresh, freshly squeezed orange juice, um, and that is going to make all the difference. It actually tastes pretty terrible with store-bought orange juice, so I highly recommend just juicing some oranges. So the first thing that we're going to do is three quarters an ounce in orange juice. Then three quarters an ounce of scotch, and it also bears mentioning that your scotch choice um, is very important for this drink. You don't want to pick something that's too smoky. You want something that has a little smoke, of course, but uh, also something that has some dark fruit notes in it as well. Three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. And three quarters of an ounce of cherry hearing. All right, then we're gonna take our ice. A little more. Add our cocktail and shake. Mm. That was a good lock on that tin. You wanna make sure you get a good lock so the cocktail does not end up all over you. Take our strainer and we double strain to get the ice shards out. There we go. And you'll notice that your shaking technique is proper if you have that nice kind of aerated citrus in it, which is what we're looking for. And then we'll grab our spoon, and last but not least, the garnish. We will just garnish it with one Luxardo cherry. And drop it right in there. Uh, and there it is, the blood and sand. Let's taste. You know, I'll tell you this. A lot of the reason, I think, why bartenders don't like this drink is because it is kind of unbalanced in the cherry hearing, um, in the cherry hearing realm. So the cherry hearing kind of overpowers the sweet vermouth. Uh, you do get the scotch and the orange, but I will say this flavor I really like. There's something about it. It's like almost like tea, and I really do like it. So. Uh, it might not be for everyone, it's definitely for me. And that's it.